Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I come to you from today from GM Aquablox to show you some new suspension. Screw this intro, let's go on with it. So, if you've been around the face punch forms a bit, you would have seen a Zeospanzer's incredibly oddly named truck that I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce. You'll notice it has these straight axles, but these wheels can steer. How does he do it? Well, today I'll show you how I did it, because I looked at this and a few other examples and figured it out. So, we've all built this, which is all lovely and delightful, but that uses the straight beams. Now, let me explain how to do that. First off, I've got a 2x4 panel, 2x0.5 wide blocks, a couple of wheels, and this one. This is axis on the top. And these are just offset like 250 from the body. So, you're going to need to rope it first. Rigid ropes. On the old suspension, you'd do it this way. You'd have an X in a box. What you want is an M. See? A big M. So, bring out my rope tool. Tick rigid. Go to black. Uh, all black ropes are going to be rigid. Any red ones are going to be non-rigid. So, go from the edge to the edge, edge to the middle. And just work it around like that. If you want, you could do the X in a box style one on the back, but I'm going to have suspension on both ends, so I'll just quickly do this. And screw it up because I've done it the wrong way around. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, if you use this as is, these would flop all over the place due to not being restricted. So I've got it lined up north to south. Bust out your advanced ball socket tool. Now I've got the setting all saved already. What you want is force and torque to zero, x minimum one, x maximum minus one, y minimum minus 45, y maximum 45, z minimum minus 25, Z maximum 25, friction 0, friction 0, friction 0, free movement, and I'm going to take off no collide. And go from the plate to the body. Then again on the other side, plate to the body. Oop, one more rope. Go back to your rope tool and tick rigid. And do a quick holder from the middle of the plate to the body. Right, what that ball socket will do is what will allow this to twist 45 degrees that way, which is that, 45 degrees the other way, but it won't let it flop around, it won't turn, see? And that gives you suspension. Now I'm going to put the elastics on and then show you how to do steering. Alright, now how to attach the front wheels. Take your easy position, set it to ball socket, and I'm going to change my offset to zero. You take a wheel, the rear wheels here are just accessed on for ease of use. And you just plonk those on like that. Now if you release these, they'll flop to the ground. Which is why we have this little thing on the top. This is what you're going to use for steering. All your hydraulics can be connected to this. You need a ball socket first. So, your ball socket you will need is... Uh, force and torque to zero, X minimum minus 180, X maximum 180, Y minimum 1, Y maximum minus 1, Z minimum 1, Z maximum minus 1. Frictions are all zero, free movement, no collide. You go from the front wheel to the plate. Up the front wheel to the plate. Now if I release these, it might twitch a bit, but if I move this, and that's how you get your steering. The only downside to this is it's the slightest bit twitchy. Right, you're also going to want to restrict the movement of this bar. So go to your advanced ball socket again. Set it to default. Uh, I've got to find the default. What we do is restrict the Z. I'm going to restrict it to minus 35 and 35. And go from body to plate. Yep, free movement, no glides on. And that will stop steering going any further than 45 degrees in either way. And that is how you do quite handy sort of rock crawlery monster trucky suspension. 
I'll finish this off properly with a couple of hydraulics and show you how it works. So, as you can see, we've got a fair bit of articulation. All four wheels are still on the floor. Um, the weights for this I've used, by the way, is each wheel is 250, each axle is 500, this is 1000, and this is 500 as well. You could probably lighten up a bit. And they could do with stronger elastics because these don't quite cut it. But it's something I've been playing around with. See, there, it's just instantly flopped out. So try stronger elastics. I used 50,000, 1,500 on mine. It's a fairly stocky little suspension system, good for rock crawlers and stuff like that. If you pull socket the two front wheels together, they shouldn't freak out as much. Which I shall do now. Do, 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 do. Mm. So I did the rear ones, but not the front ones. Smooth. But yeah, it's a new style of suspension. Try it out. Have some fun with it. Try and figure out why those one wheels do that on occasion. Alright. That's my slightly crappy new suspension tutorial. Expect more soon. I'm Big Adam and I make crap tutorials. Because I know of awesome maps.